Well, hello there, YouTube. This is Joel from DreamVR, and I'm here sitting with my wireless Go 2 from Rode going, how the heck do I actually record with this thing? I watched a few other tutorials for like 25 minutes, 45 minutes each, and they didn't show you how to actually record, which is what I want to do. And it wasn't recording. So if you're in that boat, this is the tutorial for you. All right. Let's go look at the three-piece set of the Wireless Go 2 from Rode and see how does this work. What are we going to do to record? Okay, so this doesn't have a record button, right? You, you're looking for it, and it's like, where is the record button? And the guy on the tutorial said, oh, it just automatically records. But mine didn't. So here's why. You just got these out of the box. Now what you need to do is go to Rode Central on your computer. So you need to go to the Rode website and download Rode Central. Then you're going to have to update these because that's what it has to do. And then you're going to have to change the settings to get them to actually record. So let's jump on over to our computer and get Rode Central downloaded. All right, to get Rode Central downloaded, there's a link in the description, but just go to www.rode.com and search for the Wireless Go 2, and you're going to find their uh, software down here, down here at the bottom, Downloads, Downloads, Rode Central, uh, Mac, okay, or Windows. So download that. Once you've got that downloaded, I think you know how to download a piece of software, so you'll have this up on your computer. Now let's jump on back over to our road mics. Here we are. You're going to need to plug these in. So take the USB-C cable that came with your road or should have come with it and plug it into your computer and do that with all of your three, you know, sections. The, the trans, this is the transmitter. These are the two recording mics. I'm going to jump on over to my computer now. We're over at the computer. We've got Rode Central set up. Now here is the, everything's been updated. It will auto update. So now that you're here, there are some settings. Other people will explain these to you. You don't need me to explain them. What I'm interested in is how to get this actually recording. So go to your recorder thing. It says select a device to get started. No recordings available. That's because you need to go here to the settings wheel. Okay, press the settings wheel and look at this button. It says record off. That means don't record ever. Why they said it this way, I do not know. But you're going to have to press this button to record always or record backup. This way it will record a backup channel or it will just always record. We have to go in here. We have to change this thing to record always or backup. Okay. Now let's jump back over to our recording devices and they will now record automatically. Check this out. Here we are back at our recording devices. So I'm just gonna unplug, unplug, unplug. Okay, we're gonna start these up. So press the road button on your wireless go transmitter and the Press it for three seconds. One, two, three. There we go. Now let's start up our mic. One, two, three. And this is how you record. It's automatically going to record now. See? See this button? Let's turn on the backlight so you can see it better. It says record. Now it is recording. So it just automatically starts your recording. So if you want to start recording, this is your record button. If you want to stop recording, just press this again. One, two, three. Okay, we stopped recording. So that's how you start and stop your recordings with this new mic. Now, uh, you probably got a lavalier mic with this. So it's the same deal with your lav mic now. You're going to take your lavalier mic. So, oh, here it is. Unboxing. Yes. I love unboxing. So I already unboxed these. See, I didn't make an unboxing video. It's brand new, but I unboxed this. All right. So it's the same deal if you're going to use this with a lav mic and clip it on. Get everything set up. Get your lav mic clipped on to your shirt. Now you're going to stick your lav mic in here. Now it will automatically record through the lav mic. 
and the recording will be stored on here. Okay, so again, press one, two, three. Aha! It started recording! Okay, so now it's starting another recording using the lav mic. There you go, that's how you start recording. So if this was helpful, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and tell me if you wanna see how to hook this up to your computer for Zoom meetings, how to hook this up to your iPhone, and I'll make those videos too. All right, this was Joel from Dream VR signing off. Okay, whoops guys, I forgot something. How do you access your recordings? Okay, you're going to plug this back into your computer with your USB-C cable. Okay, plug it back in. You don't need to turn it on or anything. Your computer will just recognize that it's there. Okay, let's jump back over to the computer. We've just connected this uh, transmitter, which we have our recording on. So let's go over here. And now you can see our two recordings are here. So recording one, today at 7.06. Oh, that's recording two. Recording one, today at 7.05. Recording two, today at 7.06. Go over here to export your recording. Call it Screaming at Road. Export it however you want it. I think these settings are fine. Maybe you don't. I will export it to Screaming at Road in my downloads. Export in progress. There. Now we have our high quality wave recording because I have it set on um, broadcast quality uncompressed. If you want it to be uh, lower quality, you can do it standard quality compressed. But I usually do this because that's better quality.